Hi everybody, we're going to look at some more Inventor today and we're going to create a cylindrical shell. So let's first go here and do our 2D sketch. Let's hit our XY's plane and let's create two circles. Uh, just anywhere. Let's make this one here. Let's bring another one out to there. Now we want to dimension these. Let's do this one first. Let's make this one 1.96. Okay. And then we'll do one on here. Just so it can look like a cylinder, 1.85. We'll click OK. So there's our circle for our cylinder. And then we want to go and um, add a slot to this circle. So let's uh, go in and let's say finish sketch, which we are done. And then we want to select this guy. We want to extrude this. Here's our extrude. And we'll select this. And let's give this distance a, let's make this. Uh, 3.93 or whatever you want. And if you want to follow along, just do 3.93 like me. And then we want to go out here and zoom off. So next thing we want to do, we want to add a 2D sketch again. Create 2D sketch. And then at this point, we want to go to our origin and select our XY plane. Now we're in our XY plane, and then we'll go to the bottom and we'll select our slice graphics. So now we have our graphic slice, and then we want to go over into a rectangle and do a center to center slot. So let's just make a slot here, here, and then another point there. So like we always do in Inventor, we want to start measuring these out. So let's make this distance from, let's take this distance from here to this origin. We'll make this 0.230. Then we'll make this one from here to here. Point three two oh. And now for the radius, let's make this real tiny. Let's go point eight, point oh eight oh. Okay, so there's our slot, and we'll finish sketch. And then we'll go into our extrude command. And then when the extrude dialog box comes up, properties, let's go with through all. And we have through all. And then let's look at, we want to click cut. And once we click cut, we can go say OK. And we should have a hole over there. Let's see. Yep, we've got it. Okay, now let's do a rectangular pattern. So to create a rectangular pattern on a 3D model pattern, rectangular pattern, let's go to pattern, it's rectangular, click rectangular. And then we want to select the slot. Okay, we have the slot selected. Okay. We want to click the cursor button. Let's see. Let's see. We got our slot selected. Now let's go. And then we want to. So we got the slot selected. And then we want to go direction. Wait a second. Let's do this again. We cancel that. We'll click our pattern. 
and then we want to click the features button here okay there's something going on there okay we got the feet there you go that's what happens you have to have that selected and then here we want to select we want to select direction one button here and in the browser we're going to select our origin and we want to go with the y-axis which is here okay now the next thing we want to do we want to go in and add the spacing so for this uh, the number of uh, the count of space of, of, of holes so let's go six here and then the distance between let's go with point six two nine and we'll say okay so there's our pattern so now let's do a circular pattern so we can bring these all around our, our, our cylinder okay so what we do here is go to 3d again and we'll go back down to uh, let's bring this around so we can see what's happening here there you go okay well i'll do it there now let's go into our circular 3d circular pattern Now in the browser we want to let's select rectangular pattern one. And now on the dialog box, we want to click rotation axis and select the cylinder. Now we have six, so let's make this twelve. And we got it at 360 degrees. And then we'll click the rotation icon here and say OK. And there's our cylinder. Hey guys, I wanted to just show you this quick little video for Inventor. And we'll be moving on with more stuff. So hey, thanks for all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Hey, if you like this video, like it. Uh, you got questions, ask questions, you got suggestions, make suggestions. And please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Be safe, y'all.